My past is, uh, is, is pretty colorful. I dropped out of high school in the 10th grade, and when I was young, most of my young life was uh, um, in and out of detention facilities. I had a heart attack from smoking cocaine at 17 years old. I look back and it was that world that I believed uh, helped to shape and, and uh, create the John Malott that I am today. My past is the exact opposite of John's because I feared my mother. Uh, I grew up the child of parents who were um, in the middle of civil rights. So everything for my parents was to do the best you can do all the time and you don't make these mistakes because you have a responsibility to the people who were fighting for you. I actually did everything I was supposed to do. Got great grades in high school. I went to college. I graduated from college. I served in the military and Air Force. Found myself after that in corporate America. Actually found myself working in factories on third shift. Started my working career off as a janitor. You know, I worked for uh, General Electric. That was the beginning of uh, me realizing that I didn't like corporate America. And I actually followed in my father's footsteps because he was in manufacturing for many years, for 30 years. Was doing everything right, but not getting the results. So I go to school, I get good grades, I get the college degree, I get the so-called good job, and, and I'm not happy with, with my existence. And in 1997, I remember it was Thanksgiving, we were all talking, and he asked me how my job was going, and I said, well, you know, it's what we do, this is, it's just what we do and he said you know I think there's a better way uh, to make a six-figure income. So I went through this challenging time as a young person and um, I discovered entrepreneurship kind of by accident. I was uh, in a drug rehabilitation facility and a counselor there gave me a book called How to Win Friends and Influence People. So I worked 60 hours a week, six days a week on third shift and uh, that's all that's what I was doing when I found this great profession. Entrepreneurship became an, uh, uh, a very logical thing for me. You know, I played around with you know, some things. I, I owned a real estate investment company. Uh, we owned a company that, that produced the uh, local mixed martial arts cage fights, um, restaurant. It was a long, a long battle, um, a lot of challenges. It really was a blessing now looking back. Finally, I signed up in, in, that, in network marketing. Now I have to go to a convention, <laughs> I got to do all this stuff. So it, but eventually I gave in, I went to uh, uh, a convention and I really saw it. I said, okay, here's my, here's my shot. I was so tired of working third shift. And I really think he sat there and listened to me go on and on about how they told me I was gonna be on days by now. I'm still working third shift, they don't listen, I can help them do this. And he sat there and he nodded and he nodded. And he said, I used to be like that. Yep, it used to be the same way for me. And he said, I used to so many times that finally I said, well, what do you do now? This really, truly was an equal opportunity opportunity. You know, didn't care my education, didn't care background, none of that mattered here. I started to see that, that even someone like me, who wasn't born in the house with the Rolls Royce in the garage, who didn't you know, have the pedigree you know, that, that I thought was necessary. I thought that you had to have certain things to be successful. You, know, you either had them or you didn't have them. I did not understand at all what it was, but it's, there was this tug on me. My mom said, you're crazy, and my sister said, why? My mom said, you have a good job with good benefits. Why do you need anything else? I think I was just not smart enough to know that I shouldn't have been able to do it. You know, sometimes what you don't know works to your advantage. He just told me this is what you need to do, and this is, that's just what I did. And I reached the top of the company in five months, and. Three years later, had a six-figure income. You know, we're uh, a couple that is, is building a big business. We're very focused on our business. We're really just regular family um, that's, that's really working to do big things. Um, so a lot of other people can raise their families and live their lives the way they want to. For me, it's just been a great ride. I have had my pitfalls, a lot of mistakes, leadership, dealing with people, learning about myself, but as far as that I had nothing for a long time doing this thing. I'm very, very fortunate. You know, now 20 years later, to see the, the to be reaping the benefits, the, you know, the fruits from that labor. And, and, and I didn't realize that when I was going through that, that I would end up on this end. 
But it's amazing. We have so many people right now that are earning in excess of six figures. You know, we've got seven figure income earners within the organization. So I think more than anything, what's happening now is that this, this paying it forward type thing, this uh, so many people around us are winning. And there, you know, you sleep good at night. I am Tiffany Malott. I am a wife. I am a mother. I am a speaker. I am an author. I am a leader. I am a strong woman and I am a network marketing professional. I am John Malott. I am a father. I am a husband. I am grateful. I am an entrepreneur and I am a network marketing professional. Ladies and gentlemen, my wish for you is that you'll decide to become a network marketing professional. You'll decide to go pro. Because it's a stone cold fact that we have a better way. Now let's go tell the world.